uh, the state uh, VDM or Virginia Department of Emergency Management is organizing it. Uh, they do these typical uh, uh, it's situational awareness type briefing that they'll do at uh, about one at three o'clock this afternoon. And hopefully, it's not going to be a major impact to our area. I know people up in uh, up on the uh, Blue Ridge and areas like that be a whole lot heavier impact, but uh, they're going to give us a heads up to what to expect and uh, a time frame and things like that. Now, I, I know that you have a, a, a plan in place for how you attack the snow. Your guys are working 12-hour shifts, and they concentrate on sort of a hierarchy of heavily traveled streets. How does that work? Well, Public Works has done a real good job of uh, getting that organized in uh, recent years. And, of course, they, they committed and, and pretty much have to uh, focus on the thoroughfares that would be the main routes to get to uh, hospital in particular and places like that. Uh, so they'll concentrate on those uh, roads first and uh, until they can get those uh, in good shape. Uh, there again, I, uh, I'm really hoping that uh, this, this event doesn't turn into a situation where that really comes into play, but that's what we would do. Uh, then as the, uh, the primary roads are cleared up, then they start branching it out into the residential secondary streets and things. What can folks do to, to make it easier on your snowplow drivers? Obviously, parking on the street, probably not a good idea. Now, that's, uh, that's one of the largest challenges that we have. Uh, our drivers have to work around uh, uh, parked cars on the street. Uh, typically, by the time they get to the residential streets, they're, uh, uh, they've been out working for long hours to start with and uh, having to deal with uh, the challenges associated with just being out for such a long period and the elements and stuff. And then having to work in tight quarters, it either makes it so that they can't do a very good job of pushing the uh, streets back uh, the way they would like to, or they're having to come dangerously close to vehicles, and uh, uh, we just have to be real careful with that. And I know that we, we last spring had some flooding issues in the city of Martinsville, and the city's worked pretty diligently to get those storm drains cleaned out. That must have really helped during this heavy rain period that we've had. That, that uh, I think that could play into it largely. Uh, another issue, of course, this, this rain, it was at a slower rate. Uh, even though it's been over three inches of rain, it's been over a, toward a two-day period now. So it, uh, you didn't have as much issue with street flooding. Uh, but, you know, one issue kept that I'm concerned about a little bit, hopefully it doesn't, doesn't happen, it would be if uh, we started getting winds now. Uh, winds or even just a little bit of ice on the trees could be a bad problem with the you know, trees coming down. So that's kind of something I'm staying tuned to more than the snow and ice on the roads. 